Hi, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Again, I'm not late. Uh, you, you guys just got the wrong time, that's all. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Uh. Oh, I don't have an open yet. You have to give me a second. No, I'm still setting up a little bit. Thank you for the head pet anyway. Uh, I definitely need to update that. Stream. Uh, are you guys ready for some Mario Party? Since that is what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. Uh, how am I? I am okay. Also, there's going to be an ad in like a minute, so... I think I'll wait for the ad to pass before we do anything else. Uh, did I get the, the time hook again? Maybe. Yeah. Sorry. Look, if I could have no ads, I would choose not to, but, you know, which rules.
But yeah, I'll still be here, waiting for your return after the ads. And in the meantime, I could probably get some stuff done. You guys are back from the end. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? Good. You're right. Good. Good. You better be doing good. Oh, sorry. I, I'm still looking at stuff, I'm sorry. But yes, you better be doing well, or else. Or else, I will come after you. And force you to do well. That's what I didn't do. Oh my god, I'm all over the place right now. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I want to look at some stuff while we wait. Because apparently... Stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, you guys, okay, English is hard. Okay, English is hard. Uh, we're just gonna look at some of uh, Am I the Asshole just to pass some time. And you know what? This meant I could have like just stayed in bed. <laughs> Probably took a nap. Okay, I actually read this one earlier. But the person's like, basically, they said, Am I the asshole for dressing too straight and making my girlfriend uncomfortable? And so I started reading this entire thing, right? And the girlfriend sounds fucking insane. Like, like, all the way here down at the end where, um, like, they said, Oh, I was wearing a black dress, really nothing special. But then her girlfriend literally s sat there and demanded that she change. Like, what? It's a literally just a black dress. <laughs> like, um, and everybody was like, your girlfriend sounds psycho. You gotta get out of there. And I'm like, I concur. Like, what? what? <laughs> like, are you going to sit there and control what your partner wears? That is so... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, obviously it's controlling, but like, that's just like such a bad book, man. <laughs> how dare someone dress how they want? Yeah. Oh, excuse me? How dare you dress in a way that I say you can't dress? Oh my god. But yeah, that I was like, that is fucking wild, my guy. Let's see. Ooh, my vassal for holding a friend accountable for offering toxic friends. My girlfriend introduced me to one of her friends who we had just begun to date in our twenties. He's a level-headed guy who maintains good social relationships. Typical extrovert and included us in his friend group. Well, um, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. As we began to get to know his friends and the group, we uncovered a dynamic of in the deck. <laughs> uncovered a dynamic in the group and out group mentality. Oh, we uncovered a, a dynamic of in-group and out-group mentality. The few folks constantly gossiping behind backs but acting as friends in front of us. This already sounds bad. Friends would not talk things out, but rather maintain the status quo. It took a good six months to a year for me to go distance my girlfriend and I from his group with the support of therapy and boundary setting. While this was going on, our friend ghosted us for a bit and randomly supported us because things began to get ugly in his group. You know this now because one of the toxic friends mentioned he's not friends with our common friend anymore. Oh, okay. Like, the moment they said that, um, 
one with a few folks constantly gossiping behind the backs but acting as friends i was like this is already gonna go downhill like i personally hate that i really do like like uh, i know everybody gossips like anybody who says they don't they do like you do <laughs> that, that is just like a reality that people need to face now sometimes you may not do it knowingly but you still do it regardless so but yeah but people who like do like the toxic kind of gossiping you you definitely need to get like out of there like if you see your friend like sitting there talking shit about somebody and um it doesn't match up with like what you've seen or anything like that I mean, just in general, if they're like talking shit about someone without any kind of proof or anything like that, you kind of want to like distance yourself from them because you don't know what they're saying about you to other people, you know? And so the fact that like oh, the girlfriend's friend was friends with these kind of people. Like, even if he's just, like, trying to, like, maintain, like, the the friendships or whatever, I, I feel like at, at a certain point, if you know that they're doing this, you should just, like, cut them off. Because you're like, oh, no, they're, they're not talking about me. Yes, they are. Definitely. Uh, so, I mentioned to my girlfriend about being cautious about our friend because he fails to have a moral code. And a set of strong values like respect, trust, and a matured way of living. Girlfriend constantly gives him the benefit of the doubt because he's good at heart, but bad at setting boundaries, slash living up to his values. Lately, I saw him hanging out with those toxic friends, but I highlighted to my girlfriend. This makes me wonder, am I being an asshole and expecting a lot from this friend who has a strong group, or does my ask for living by values and being a good matured friend makes sense no i don't think any of this makes you an asshole like people who don't like respect boundaries and so like basic respect towards people you don't want those people in your life because they're literally just going to continue to trample all over you. So no, I, I don't think expecting somebody to have basic boundary sets and just have basic respect for people is asking too much. Literally, everybody should have that for people. But uh, that's hoping for too much, apparently. It's like, um, I forgot what I read once, but it was basically like the person was saying, oh, I do this, 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 and this, and my wife isn't happy, and it was basically like the person was doing like the absolute bare minimum, and it's actually supposed to be like expected of them to do that bare minimum, you know? It's basically like praise me for doing the bare minimum when it's something you should be doing already. And then you get people like this who are like not not even like playing devil's advocate, just being downright you know. Yeah, I, I I don't think you're I don't think you're the asshole, my friend. Also, hi Ninja, welcome to the stream. Oh, I did look at one earlier actually. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my god.
Uh, I wish I could like see like what I looked at. That would help a lot. But um, it was basically about like this husband asking like if he was the asshole for getting upset about what his wife was doing to him. So basically, um, because apparently he made a, in his words, a small mistake, and she keeps hanging it over his head, right? Um, and of course, like, she would also like inappropriately touch him and stuff like that, but obviously, you know. That's still bad. Like, even if you did that small mistake, uh, she should not be doing that. But apparently the small mistake <laughs> that this dude made was that he was sexting other people. <laughs> and that wasn't in the original post. <laughs> we had to find that out in the comments. So it's like, bro, the sexting other people is not a small mistake. You don't just accidentally send stuff. Oh my god. I guess that, that one infuriated me. <laughs> like, well, what do you mean a small mistake? That is not small. Let's see. Mm, what about this one? Days a bit long. <laughs> oh, where are the short ones? <laughs> what? Damn. <laughs> Ooh. Some of these are just what the hell? Am I the asshole for not grounding my daughter after she tried to start a food fight at school? Just based on this, just based off this title, I say yes. Like, what the fuck? Why are you not gonna ground her for that? It's just gonna encourage her behavior. Hmm. What about this one? You're very am I an asshole for having a long-term friends with benefits? Oh, good. I was seeing my friends with benefits for eight years. This time I had other relationships and cheated on them with my friends with benefits. We'd find out and tell them and I'd eventually get back with her. Recently, she kept telling me she'd be bothered if I saw someone else. I already had a girlfriend and lied. Found out and told her girlfriend. My girlfriend stayed with me. When I was with my girlfriend, I messaged her again saying I wanted to take her out and miss her. She agreed. I then said, let's keep it between us. She got offended and said, I'm acting like I'm doing her a favor. She said, you'll date. Oh. Oh, he messaged the friends with benefits. Okay. So I was like, wait, hold. Why is the girlfriend getting mad? Okay. Okay, so she said, you'll date anyone but me. And I'm too embarrassed to make it public yet. You won't let me go for eight years I told her she took it the wrong way to find someone who sees her as a girlfriend and she told my girlfriend my girlfriend broke up with me I kept reaching out and she ignored me eventually a few months later we talked and hooked up three days in a row she sent me this you tell me to move on then you come back here we are again just hooking up in my car in secret not ever doing fun stuff together you're right there's someone out there who will see value in me but not you Obviously, I'm not good enough for you to date only for hidden sex. If you wanted to make it right with me and felt you made a mistake, you would have broke it off with your girlfriend back in May. Then you chose to remind me I'm always the second place <laughs> cup option. I told her I'm not looking to argue. I 
you told me you dehumanized me and won't let me move on. You know I have feelings. You see guys, this is the constant issue having friends with benefits because somebody always catches feelings. Somebody always does. Hold on. Yeah, because I need to like, uh, send it a little. But yeah, that's always the issue with friends with benefits. Somebody always catches feelings. And this is like obviously the case here. But it also makes me wonder though, I mean, I mean, yeah, it is a friends with benefits situation, which would explain why he kept going back. But wouldn't you naturally like want to like stop meeting with your friends with benefits if you get a partner, right? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. Like, you already have a partner, and yet you're still seeing your friends with benefits? I can kind of see how the girl would get, like, a little bit of mixed messages. But still, what she did was not right, though. Like, it, it's... Mm. I don't know. It's kind of hard because, like, what she did was bad, but it was also good. It was like, hey, at least you're letting the girls that he's dating know that, oh, he's sleeping around with me, you know? And if they don't want any part in that, then obviously now they're free to go. But I also kind of feel like, also, not her place. But yeah, I mean, you also do have to consider that too. Like you, you had girlfriends and you were also sleeping with somebody else. Yeah, not a good look, my guy. What about this one? Would I be the asshole if I asked my friend to repay me? So we went on a long vacation together and unfortunately we lost our credit cards and had to borrow our SOS credit card to get our things sorted out and return back to our home country. We both paid first for certain things, dinners, groceries, etc. Uh, okay, give me a second.
Sorry. I think somebody's like using a leaf blower outside. But they finished quickly, but I guess not. Uh, let's see, where are we? Where were we? Uh, when we got when we got back, we each paid our so credit card statements first, and then said we'll calculate how each how much we owe each other. And balance that out. Since then, we've gotten busy, and in our minds, we both sort of knew that whatever we both owed each other was sort of like a balance, like nobody owed each other more or less. We just need to sort it out to get a confirmation. However, ever since we got back to our home country, we both met up for events such as concerts or dinners. And either of us would always pay first for those. Whatever, it's me who paid first, always got told to add that onto our debt. So when she paid first, I always made sure to Venmo her to make sure that we don't confuse each other more with what, you, with what we owe each other. I also don't mind paying for our food and drinks when we're out, as she's a very close friend of mine, and I know that she's been trying to save up to buy a house. Recently, the last show was when my sibling paid for a concert ticket for us to go together since we all like the same artist. When I told my friend to then move back the amount he paid for first, my message was ignored. Other than that, we've still been texting and meeting each other in a group context. I had to pay first as it was money owned over to my sibling, and I did not want him to feel like the friend ghosted him. Honestly, I know we should have a sit down and go through the statement properly to know what we had owed each other, but also felt like it was not right for my friend taking away my message regarding what my sibling paid for her. Since returning from our trip, I have also paid quite a significant amount from paying first from our nights out and dinners. Bro, why didn't you have this confrontation like earlier? Yeah, it's very obvious that this so-called friend has no intention of paying you back. <laughs> that is like disgustingly obvious. Like, I just hate it when people just don't, what's the word, basically just don't pay you back, you know, like, oh yeah, I'll pay you back, and they don't, it's like, ooh, ooh, why, why can't you pay me back, why aren't you paying anybody back, like, or they said, oh, they're trying to save up for owls, but. Even still, you can still like pay like a little bit each time. Uh, I, I don't know. I just don't understand people. Yeah, pretty much I do agree with this. Like, just stop paying for stuff if they haven't been paying you back. And then if they get mad, then well, that's their issue now, isn't it? It's kind of rude if we don't pay that person back. No, it's like extremely rude. <laughs> like that just really goes to show that you really have absolutely no respect for them. And yeah, I, I wouldn't be calling that person friend anymore. Hmm. Sorry, just some of these look kind of long, and I don't want to like uh, read long ones. Uh, let's see, am I the asshole? Oh, it's a little bit long, but it's fine. I'm the asshole for blowing off Easter dinner this year. Now, I mean, it thought is like, no, you you don't really have any obligation to like go to a dinner if you don't want to, you know. But obviously, reading will give more context. Uh, so I guess for some background context, I should tell you about my family a little. I'm the youngest of four sisters. My parents and oldest sister are very traditional people. 
get together for major holidays like Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. Last year for Christmas, one of my older sisters didn't make it out. We recently moved to New Mexico and couldn't make it to dinner. It was the first time we haven't all been together for a major holiday holiday dinner. I feel like everybody's still a little sore about it or something. Okay. They they miss one major dinner and suddenly it's an issue. Okay. But I guess that's traditional for you. And this year for Easter, originally I said I was going to go. However, I have the opportunity to be in a play, you know, so the last minute. And we only have two opportunities to rehearse, and one of them is on Easter Sunday. The play only has one showing on April 4th, and it's for a charity fundraiser for Alzheimer's. I've never been a play before, as I only recently started getting into acting and improv. I've always wanted to do it, but I'm also a single mom of two kids, so there hasn't been a lot of time. Okay. My sister, who's hosting, is kind of mad at me for not being able to make it to Easter after originally saying I could go. I feel like my family just thinks I don't care or that I don't want to go or that I'm blowing it off her. And maybe I am a little bit because I'm not religious, so I don't see what the big deal is. I haven't seen my oldest sister, who's hosting in a while, and I do want to see my family, but I've also never missed a single missed a major holiday dinner before, like ever. When I was 18, I was an opinion about being realistic about the fact that we're not always going to be able to get together every holiday. I even had a big blow up about it. My parents threatened to disown me because I said that I didn't want to come over for dinner every week anymore as it was causing problems with my job, needing me to be available for working on Sunday nights. Again, this was when I was 18, so this was a long time ago, but I still like to hang it over my head. But anyway, I've been feeling... For a while, then my family can be kind of toxic, and I'm disappointed by everybody's reaction. This is my first opportunity to be in a play, and I'm really excited. Instead of being excited for me, I feel like they're just mad that I can't make it to Easter dinner. Ah, uh, let me see. Like, I, I am the kind of person that does get a little miffed if like you said oh you're gonna come suddenly you can't but that's only if like you don't give me like a reason as to why like this person told me oh i'm gonna come and let's be doing this i'd be like oh okay that's fine but it's more of like if you just sat there and said i'm gonna go and i said oh you know what i'm not going anymore without giving a reason at least That, that, that does feel a little bit, you know, rude. Um, but this is just my personal opinion. I think it's fine. I don't really think they're the asshole for it. Because it's not like they didn't tell them at all. Like, it's not like, you know, Easter dinner is going to come. They don't show up and people are like, but you said you were going to come. They're like, oh, you know, da 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 at least they told them ahead of time, like, oh, actually, I can't come. I don't think it's fine. I think they're fine. Because this is just something that they've been hoping for one day. And it's like, if you get the opportunity to do something you that you've always wanted to, I feel like you should go for it. All right, she said she's a single mom, which means that they probably do joint custody. Yeah, you agree, yeah. Yeah, it's like... Nah, her family just needs to get over themselves, really. Like, so what if they miss one family dinner? The entire world is not going to implode. Ugh. Oh lord. Am I the asshole for liking my best friend's crush? Oh my god. Is that really still happening? I mean, why do I make it seem like some kind of natural phenomenon? I mean, it, unnatural, I'm sorry. 
It's just like, how often does this happen? <laughs> you know what? Let's let's give it a little read, I guess. <laughs> I don't have any experience in dating at all, but I've had a crush on a guy in my class for a while now. I have the feeling that my best friend developed a crush on him over the last two weeks or so. She doesn't know I have a crush on him, and she hasn't really told me, but I know her well. I know how she behaves when she likes someone, and now I don't really know what to do. He and I have some interests in common, so I thought about asking him to play computer games with me, but I also don't want to disappoint my best friend or make her jealous in any way. Look, look, uh, I'm going to be real with you. This is something you're going to have to learn very early on. You can't please everybody. You can't make everybody happy. I say, go for it. And it's all, uh, the, the, it's ultimately up to the guy about what he wants as well you know like both of you can have feelings for him and it can turn out that he's uh aromantic or asexual you know like maybe he may not like either of you but uh unfortunately your best friend is just going to have to deal with it really you know Because that's just, exactly, <laughs> that's literally what I'm saying. Like, the crush can like who they like, so he could either like you, your best friend, or neither of you. You could end up liking a dude. You don't, you don't know what he, he's into, or not into. So, I say, j just go for it, because, you know, somebody's got to do something. <laughs> I mean, or you could just do nothing and let your best friend take your crush. And you can be miserable. <laughs> know what time is it? Oh, is he ready yet? Oh my god, a first date gangbang. What does this have to do with being an asshole? Oh god. I kind of want to read it, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to find in there. Bro, what? <laughs> Let's see, how long is this? Really too long. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, um. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely bad. <laughs> Okay, next best friend. How long is this? Whoa, too long. <laughs> Here, wait, let's see. Am I the asshole for being disappointed with my boyfriend's anniversary gift? Our anniversary is about a month and a month after Valentine's Day. We are long distance, so I bought us a hotel both for anniversary and Valentine's. I also bought some of his favorite candy and chocolates. He sent me some flowers on Valentine's Day. We usually take it in turns when going out to restaurants, so during our stay at the hotel, we would alternate who paid for the meal. And then drove three hours, uh, plus three hours back to see him for our anniversary. He took me out for a meal. This was a nice meal, but no more fancy than our regular dinner dates. I'm not asshole for wanting more. I don't necessarily mean more expensive, but maybe a little teddy bear or something a bit more thoughtful. 
to see dinner or dates as something we should do most times we see each other due to our long distance relationship. I'll be honest, I do think this person is asking for a little bit much. Like just because you're long distance doesn't mean you should be getting like a whole bunch of stuff. Like a relationship isn't about the stuff that you get and like other stuff like that, you know? It's about being with each other and enjoying each other's company. Like getting each other gifts is like supposed to be like a bonus and add on to what you already have, which is each other. That's just my opinion though. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not saying like they're an asshole, but they're mm. I don't wanna say like greedy either. There's like something around there, you know? How did you communicate your expectations? You know, this is your first anniversary. I love gift giving, but that's not everyone's strongest love language. Not the asshole for wanting more. Jeez, I just scared myself. <laughs> no, not the asshole for wanting more. Even a card or a printed photo of you too. True. But yeah, um, like, I'm not saying that this person is an asshole. Definitely not, but... I think it, it's just a, a little too expectant. But yeah, uh, yeah, communication is like definitely a big key with um relationships. Like if you can't properly communicate with your partner. Not only like your needs and stuff like that, but things that like upset you when other stuff that they do to you, your relationship is not going to last. So learn to communicate. Yeah, at the end of the day, just learn to communicate. And, like that doesn't just go for like romantic relationships that goes for all relationships learn how to communicate and like trust me being able to like clearly communicate um yeah being able to like clearly communicate your feelings not only helps you understand what you want but um also what you expect of them You should be happy the fact you have somebody. <laughs> <laughs>
that that should be enough for your anniversary if you're just dating. <laughs> you should you should just be happy with what you have. Yeah. Because you could just more. you could also. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, I, that is a fucking soundboard <laughs> thing. There's also the full thing, which is just. <laughs> God, I fucking, I fucking love Vinny. He's, he's such a fucking great guy. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, but he does more shit like that. <laughs> like this. Pussy and bio. <laughs> this is what he was fucking talking about. Uh, how you know those those fucking porn bots that come in. Yeah. <laughs> They they drop in, they're like and they just like say shit and they're like, Hey, it's in my bio and you're like It's just some some freaking stupid ass link that takes you to who God knows where. <laughs> uh let's see what side do I wanna be on? Ray, did you did you ever say what Mario Party we're doing? Yeah, I said three. Three? And you were like, okay. Wait, I did? You did, didn't you? Oh. Unless you? Unless you dipped on me. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Oh. Uh, I didn't respond. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't respond. You said, so which party are we doing? One, two, or three? And I was like, mm, three. Because more minigames, I think. Uh, no um... response for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose me. Lunatic's <laughs> supposed to be okay. Hi, man. Siren. Look, look, chat. guys. I swear, look, I'm not a bad man, dexter. I finally, I finally come back to streaming after like a fucking week, and Ikri does this to me. <laughs> guys, can you, can you believe this? Can you believe this, chats? I swear, I'm. I, I'm... Next up on the Am I the Asshole? So, <laughs> <laughs> oh Wait, first of all, what do you mean, first of all? Wait, me? Look, uh, I'm not bad at texting, I promise. Hmm. Oh, fuck. What do you mean, sure? First of all, Maple, I don't want to hear that from you. The many a times I've messaged you and you left me on red. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I'd be checking like. Two hours later, and you still haven't said anything, so I'm just sitting here like, okay, people, let's see how it is. <laughs> did you get the invite? I oh, did. whoops. <laughs> Joining. It took you like 50 years. Your save data will not be affected. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to party? I am ready to party. So who do you usually pick? Uh, Luigi or Waluigi. But I don't know what characters are in this one. They're both in it. Oh, whoops, hold on guys. I, I am not realizing, first of all. I, I gotta put it into the music. I turn on my switch music. Oh, that's already on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Because Am I the answer for being a hypocrite? Yeah, Maple, <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> do you do you hear the audio? Hmm? Oh wait, no, I think that's my end. I just like some of the audio is a bit fucky wucky because of. Uh... <laughs> so I think since I'm streaming, the connection is gonna be a little weird, but I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> and if but we're not, well, sound... it makes for comedy. Um, is the 
music too quiet for you guys? Or is it just alright? That's it. I just realized it's interesting. My profile picture is Bowser, yours is Peach. Oh. Hmm. I guess it was meant to be. Yeah. But it was something different that I remembered. Oh, yeah. Uh, Princess Peach Showtime. So, there has to be new avatars. Mm -hmm. I need to I need to get the, the game. Oh, you're interested in playing it? Yeah, I tried the demo and it was pretty fun. Yeah. But I feel like it could be like done in a day with how like short things were. It... <laughs> I will say it does feel very different compared to the rest of the Mario series and stuff. So, yeah. Whoa, Donkey Kong! Yeah. I'm gonna be a monkey. I'll be... I'll be Wario! Oh, wait. Wait, that doesn't sound like Charles. What the fuck? Okay, you have to realize, this is like ages ago. Yeah, but Charles was here. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm moving away. I'm a little bit creepy. No, it may, it may still be him. Okay, but that looks a little better. Oh, equal. No. No handicap. We're gamers. So where do you want to play? Jelly Waters, Cape Cooper Sea, Mini Desert, Woody Woods, or Creepy Cavern. Ooh, Creepy Cavern. Bruh. Wish Mario Party was this three. Oh fuck, you're right, I didn't update. <laughs> oh no, you forgot to edit. <laughs> Wait, hold. No, why are you doing this to me? Stop. Now be warned, since I am Wario, I'll probably every once in a while pull out the Wario voice. Oh god. Well, let's see. Okay, look, because last time I found out 35 was way too much. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trust me, right, Maple? Oh wow. <laughs> 20s! Huh. Do you want bonus uh, stars? Eight. Yeah, well, we can do bonus stars. Alright, you better bring your A game. Alrighty. In, uh, in Mario Party 8, they had, um... I think it was a 10 turn system. Like, oh my turns. god. Right, Maple. <laughs> okay, so when I was playing with Maple, I had ended up getting, like, one of the rare items where it's, like... Um, yeah. It basically turns into like the last five turns. And then the computer had stolen it from me. And just oh, no. as we were getting to the end, they used it and extended the damn game. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> so there's an item that adds turns? Okay, well no, it just automatically turns into like the last five turns, whether you're like before it or after it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, ready to Goodness. become a superstar. Alright. Hey, I'm going first. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Did I just Mario Party roll a net one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Ikri, why is my why is my dice sentient with a face and feet? Why are you asking me like I'm supposed to know? I don't know. I you'd know. Hey yo, I got a ten and no twenty coins. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking my coins I want. Okay, if I go this way, I can go that way. Come back. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. 
That doesn't affect me. Mm -hmm. Also, apologies, guys, if you um hear vibration in my mic. The neighbors are at it again. Are they mowing or something? Hmm? Are they, are they doing a mow? No, just playing music loud. I got you. Oh, I didn't get run over. Huh? Okay, we can't let Yoshi win. <laughs> no. Alright. Seven. Well, you have to pay a toll by going over there? What, you didn't know? <laughs> no, I've never seen that happen before. What? <laughs> have you played Mario Party Superstars? No, I've played different uh, Mario Parties, though. I've played, uh, like, 8 DS. Uh, so one, one other one that is kind of weird. Two lucky day, day. answer me straight for a shot at getting an item. Do you brush your teeth after every meal? Yes. You tell the truth, I like it. What if I lied? What if I lied to you? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Not too bad. Thank you, baby Bowser. Oh, if I win, Yoshi gets a star. No. Oh no. Why couldn't they put us together? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna throw. <laughs> Time to win. <laughs> yeah, that's all you gotta do. Ready? Left and right to move, okay. Oh, okay, damn. Oh, sorry, I, I thought that was just... Oh. <laughs> I was kidding. Oh, Ow. yes. I love throwing for content. <laughs> ah, woo. Peak gameplay, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute peak, peak gameplay. Right. Who doesn't love throwing for content? It just. Oh yeah, I have it saving every turn now. Oh my god, the game is Wait, lagging. Why? Yeah, why the fuck did that? happened to me. It just randomly dropped. I think it's your fault. <laughs> I think it is my fault. Oh my god. Guys, can you believe it? It's his fault. Well, my internet's kind of shit. It's okay. enough to stream with, but... Something about Nintendo's whole spiel is bad. No, you got a magical lane now? It'll- it'll make a return in a minute, I'm sure. What the lag? <laughs> no, the- the fixing of the lag. Oh. 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 okay, I was about to say, if he gets a star, I know something. <coughs> <coughs> You've gotta be kidding. Bro, he's going to get that star. How are we losing already? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. What the fuck does this do? What is that? Oh, that's the, 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 the. Wait, How I have you... an idea. If you use the Bowser did... phone and then say it's Yoshi. Oh, wait, hold on. Explanation. <laughs> Open the gates in the map. Okay, next item. Limit in a. Wait, no, that's... I don't have those, though. 
Bowser phone. Call Bowser. He'll visit anyone you tell him to. Then that player can enjoy a Bowser event. Okay. Well, rip pad. <laughs> Bowser suit. Use it to transform into Bowser for one turn and collect 20 coins from anyone who mistakes you for the Koopa King. Huh. Let me, let me just call Bowser really quick. Hello? Yeah, this is Bowser. Who are you? This is Wario. Yeah, I'll be right there, so don't go anywhere. Oh no, what did you do to yourself? Oh, I'm getting the I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> well, you just ruined a great plan I had in mind. Yeah. <sighs> So what frighteningly fun event will we have? You gotta stop it at some point. Did you see that? He, he cheated. Yeah? Bowser shuffle oh, it is. No. In this Please event, I shuffle your position around. around. Please don't. Here goes to the Bowser shuffle. Oh, any, anything but putting Yoshi where I am. All players' positions on the board have been shuffled around. I wonder if there's ever a point that you could get the 100 star. Oh, you took my spot. Hmm. Sweet, where did Yoshi go? Yoshi? So way he... Wait, I think Yoshi's in my spot. No, that's where you are. You're in my spot. Where for where Luigi was. Oh, so he's all the way over there! Oh, that's so good. Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> it worked out somehow. Hmm, I can't afford a star. But do you want a chance of running along the rails? I'll just go around. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I must ask for you to deposit five coins. Bitch! Yeah, he's deep. Rockin' Raceway. Also, I may go to go to check if uh, food is ready here in a moment. Uh -huh. Ah! Alternatively... <laughs> alternate repeat, repeatedly proceed. Open Wait, what the button's the Z? I think it's... I think it's this button. Okay, I'm ready if you are. Mm -hmm. It is time to race. <laughs> Can I just do two buttons or do I have to do all three? You can do it's only two. Oh. Well it said Z in there for some reason. If Z is more comfortable for you. Oh, oh shit. Get Yoshi out of here. Oh no! <laughs> the game where people would get their palms blistered or was that a different Mario game? Oh. Uh -huh. Did you not know about that? I don't even know what you said. Oh, there's a there's a, a Mario game where uh, one of the mini games on the N64 
uh, you were supposed to uh, do the, a strat was to use the palm of your hand to do a, a very quick spin on it, and it caused blisters on people's hands, like, really bad. No, it was not this game. Not this game, okay. Must, I think it was the first one. Because I don't think they expected people to do that. I think they expected them to use their thumb. Oh. Goomba event. <laughs> was it the snowboarding one? Uh, it could have been. Wait, were you asking, like... In the first Mario game or Mario 3 Superstars? In the first few Mario games. It was on the N64. Um, it might be... Oh, what is it? The Tug of War. Right. It could have been. This one is just Get Lucky. Guys, <laughs> this is Get Lucky? Yep, Get Lucky. Alright. You feeling ready? Yeah, I'm feeling ready. Alright. Oh, and then first. Oh, they don't even give you a chance to watch to look. Nope. That's why I said it's get lucky. <laughs> Just get lucky is ninety percent of this game. Oh, get out of here. Mm. Let's go, Yoshi. Terrible. This one. How do I- how do I pick? It was just- it's Supposed to ground pound. Oh, I didn't know! I didn't know! <laughs> Wait, I might just win by default if he gets a baby Bowser. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not salty for the last time I played. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah! <sighs> Still got a chance. <clears throat> Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I don't feel so good. <laughs> um. uh, Mario, I'm not feeling too good, man. I, I can't do it. Yeah. Oh, you would have gotten a toad. I would have. Aw. Oh. It's a bull. ghost. It's a bull. Oh, okay. That's the. Please let me go. Okay, good. What does the boo do? Oh, it just changes um the order. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> oh my god. You guys, you know. This lets you buy multiple stars at once. Is it that kind of game? Damn, you can get the bitty coin. I mean, you get multiple stars at once. Ooh. Lost all my fucking coins, man. That to me right now. <laughs> no. You have no use for it. You only have some coins. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Well, what's it? What's it do? It takes you to the store. Oh. Well, then I'll just make money. <laughs> just make money for it. Right, well, while, while the curtain is open, use to hide. If a, if the single player guesses your hidden place, you lose. Easy. Just I understand you don't... the assignment. <laughs> Just pray you don't end up with Yoshi. Yeah. Um, then. Ah! 
Oh. What? What are you hiding with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you hiding with me? God. Why did he? Why did he have to pick exactly where we were? Oh, we this bot. This dude has aimbot. <laughs> I don't think you have Guaranteed. aimbot for this. <laughs> Waluigi has aimbot. Guarantee it. It's just you, like the hide where I hide. I wasn't trying to. Yeah. Also oh, I suck! Um, get your food. I'll go get my food, yeah, I'll go get my food, I'll be back. I'll we'll be taking a short break, please. Oh, oh my god, the game barely started. <laughs> My game barely started and we're already having issues. Ugh. Ugh. He's not getting food, he's clearly strategizing. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, but how have you guys been? What's new with you? I'm freezing. Somebody please give us a heater. Looking up how to beat people in Mario Party 3. What? Why are you looking that up? What? Oh. Oh, you mean Dawn. <laughs> That's what he's doing now. He literally doesn't know anything about Mario Party 3. Oh my god, you know what? I hope he meets a game guy. Game guy is like literally the worst. Cause that is like, get lucky to game. <laughs> like, it's so RNG, it's insane. Like, I'm really glad that they took Game Guy out. Cause that shit is annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can actually look at it right now. Give me a second. But basically, the essence of Game Guy is he takes all your coins, and if you win, you either get double or triple the amount you gave him. If you lose, you lose everything. So basically, like gambling. <laughs> Ooh, what? Yeah. Hold on, let me. Is he? Is this game guy right over here? Mm, where is it? So yeah, that's game guy right there. So yeah, as you see it says here, players can usually double their coins or lose all coins. Though they can risk their money for higher multiples. The games all around, revolve around luck, so... Again, get lucky. And then there's four mini games. Game Guys Lucky Seven. <clears throat> game Guys Magic Boxes. 
Game Guy's Roulette, and the Game Guy's Sweet Surprise. Yeah, it is a Shaka. But yeah, like, I'm glad his first and only appearance is Mario Party 3. Jesus Christ. Like, the odds of, like, you winning? Okay, and people didn't like that it was actually luck-based. Okay, but like, you also have to understand, like, um, hold on. Let me go to one of them. Like, it was so insanely luck-based that people literally did, like, a whole fucking table about it. Like, that's- that's how bad it was. Like, having a luck-based game is fine, but this is, like, extreme, obviously. This is like extreme. Then also for like the sweet surprise too. Like this is fun. <laughs> well, it's like I'm kind of glad they did away with it. It's like there's only so much luck base that you can put on people before they start getting annoyed. Players had low chance, had low low chances of winning. Yes, very low. <laughs> very low. And then here it also says, while well, Game Pass' exact logic for deciding whether to roll again is unknown, whether he does or not matters little in terms of expected value. Oh. Even then, there's no logic for him deciding to roll again. And then also this, it says both train chomps can say anything listed below while the player is choosing one of them. These have no effect on the outcome of the game. But like, that also influences like your decision making. So like, let's say a small chomp is gonna win and it's like Oh, I like mushrooms better than cake. It'll probably still win. <laughs> Which is why it's like very unreliable. <laughs> yeah, that's game guy. I just want Don to meet him, just so he can experience the pain of being guy. <laughs> Honestly, I really can't wait till they put like Mario Party 4 on the Switch. Like, I absolutely love Mario Party 4. It's like my favorite, my favorite Mario Party. Is there anything else I need to tell you guys? Is Mario Party 4 the newest, newest Mario Party? No! You don't. you don't know your Mario Parties? Um, oh yes, as you guys saw... I basically picked a day for Princess Peach Showtime, which is Friday. Um, I still don't have a time in mind, but... For now, I'll just say maybe 12, maybe. Again, it all depends on how I'm feeling. And then I'm pretty much free the, the weekend. You almost never play Mario Party? Tones, you missed out on life. <laughs> you really have. <laughs> Mario Party is so fun. Especially when you have the people to play it with. Now, naturally, I, was, I always had my sister to play. Mario Kart and Mario Party with, so... 
you know. But yeah, it's been like a bunch of Mario parties. Did Mario Party, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I think there was a ten. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. And then the Mario Party that Maple has that I don't remember the name of. And then Mario Party Superstars. I'm good for you. <laughs> For having friends and family? First of all, I never said I played with friends. <laughs> Look at him. I'm putting words in my mouth. Is this your mod, guys? Do you want this as your mod? I return! <laughs> scared me. How are we doing, chats? Hold on, let me, let me open up. Come back, it's fucking up. <laughs> Let me. Excuse me, huh? Let me check and see what. <laughs> what is going on <laughs> over here? <laughs> Talking about. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, okay. Well, let me not leave him in the dark anymore. <laughs> is turning the game demonic. I was about to say, like, I was opening up uh, Twitch while I'm streaming, right? And it fucking... It was having a stroke. <laughs> Over on my side. And I am here. Goodness, I have it set to save every turn. Goodness. Wait, where are you going? Be miserable. Yes. No. Bro, you already put in 46 coins. I mean, you're getting out with 90. Bro, Wait, you don't understand you game go. guy. You do not. You do not want to take any risks with him. Makes sense. Like, literally, he said all your coins are his. And he means that. Yeah. I don't know how I got through that, but I did. Luigi. Yo, bubblegum dum dum ass up right now, Toes. Dear God. <clears throat> uh oh. Well, Waluigi is enemy number one now. Of course. Oh no, that's Charles. Hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Getting chased over would probably be ideal. Ah, hello, you've landed on my bank space. Give me your shit. Now. <laughs> this is a hold up. <coughs> well, don't you get chased from the storm? That's good. Less to worry about. You activated my trap card? What? Wario! Oh, I could use the Nido. Oh yeah, you could have. Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the trajectory is not my forte days in What? <coughs> Does that Wait. thing have lips? Okay. <laughs> Look at it! Does it have lips? But that's not what I'm, not, that's not what I'm asking you about. You're out of your coffin. <coughs> I was caught off guard by that shit. What the hell? No, it's just a mouth. Oh. You feeling ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What is going on in my chat? Homie, those are lips. Nah. Oh wait, I was looking at the, I was looking at the wrong screen. Huh. Sorry, Yoshi. Waluigi, you bitch! Why didn't you let go of the damn thing? Yoshi, come on. Well, shit, sure, we got an idea. Homie, those are lips. It's got them tree sappy. <laughs> it's got them. It's got them tree usy lips, man. What the fuck, Dawn? <laughs> yeah, the tree the tree usy lips. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I do that in my. Trussy lips, oh my god. You, you know what? Go this way. I'll take my chances with food. Also, if anybody needs a reminder, I'm playing as Daisy and Dawn is playing as Wario. Yeah. No, I forgot again. You really forgot? Yeah, I forgot the item. Oh. Hmm? Oh, is this like the horse? What? Is this like the horse? No, because you have your own set of controls. Oh. Oh. <coughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. I think this is the C button. <laughs> Okay, that's the Ziva.
That was rigged. That was at the same time. No. Nah. I'm just a second faster. <laughs> Every second matters. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Bluebell? Mm hmm. The Millennium Star. Other side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes! Call that train! Yes. No! It's coming from the other way! Ah! <laughs> I can deal with the setback. Somehow. when you gotta put your money where your mouth is. Transformed into Bowser for this turn only when you pass another player you can steal. Okay. <clears throat> There's no one near me. Oh. oh, yes, there is. Damn, you still got these coins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have played a little dirty. Yeah, but you're about to lose them. <laughs> Oh, Bowser event. Hope you have fun. Why are you also, <laughs> by <laughs> fighting? I would have cheater. I would have gotten that 10,000 present. <laughs> no, it would have moved regardless. <laughs> Man. Yeah. You say you'd win, but I want to play against you. No, I'm talking with you. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, excuse me. Oh. Res respect the mods here. No one. No one. What? Oh, yeah, are you going to use the lab next turn? Am I? Okay, look, I need you to tell me if you are, because I need to play it. I might. <laughs> it's a yes or no! Yeah, I probably will. Okay, thank you. Time to move and die. Oh, I want to just play some games with you, man. No. What is going on in my chat? <laughs> you know what you gotta do? Uh, wait. That's you. I believe so. Okay. <laughs> is there a is there a problematic persans in your chat? No. And even if they are, ah! I literally have like two mods in here. Ah, uh, okay. Is that friendship denied? I'm confused and scared. Damn it! Damn it! Just... What do you mean, damn it, bro? You got like 50 coins. You can get a star? Oh no. Damn! <laughs> Let's open 
up your chat on my phone. <laughs> you want to see what's going on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, it was your... <laughs> It was a mod that was saying that. Okay, I thought it was some red. I was about to be like, bruh. Thank you. Did you just pay off a boo to give you money? Oh or no. Star? Uh oh. Hi. Hey, can I get like a phone? Yeah, boy! Thank you! I love it. Thank you. I have such great use for it. Oh. But all I want to say hey, is, guys, don't get too out of hand or else I will personally bonk you myself. <laughs> Listen, man. Mm -hmm. Instead of calling Bowser, you should call you some bitches. <laughs> the silence. <laughs> Make you leave. <laughs> or was it just poor timing? Hit a baby Bowser with a hammer to get the item in his treasure chest. <laughs> I 
Uh oh. Better wait on the creep. What you doing? Oh, hi. Uh, not just yet. Hold on. Oh, yes. I know what I'm doing. I didn't chase you off with that joke, did I? You ready? Yeah? <laughs> but I, I didn't chase you off, did I? Give the head pat. Hi, Tam. Very cool. <laughs> God, Yoshi, Yoshi. Oh no! <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why is Waluigi gonna be in this sort of contraption? Oh. No. <laughs> How you doing, Tim? Maybe. Maple, how you guys doing? Uh, uh, yeah, baby, let's go! Uh, yeah! Uh, no. <laughs> 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 Damn it! <laughs> My spam finger didn't even do it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Was right there. You see how close I was? No, it wasn't that close. <laughs> oh, also, while you were away, uh, so I got a star using the lamp, and then it war it spawned it right below where I was, and I rolled a dice big enough to go get another. So I got two stars for one turn. Sluggish from the wet weather. Oh, is it wet over there? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You're wow, tones. Oh my god, you know hey, what? Hey y'all, I I appreciate it. Thank you, tones. You know what, tones? That's kind of hurtful. <laughs> He's a traitor. <laughs> Bro. I got a gold mushroom and a lamp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally use this. You're throwing me away. Hi, I'm the skeleton key. Wait, are you throwing me away? Wait, what? Did I throw it away? Like, actually throw it away? Or did he open up anything? You threw it away. It literally said you're throwing me away, and you said yes. I thought that I thought that was just a goofy way to say you're using me. Pouring down rain, I see. How are you both doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, yeah, it's it's fine. Tell us, go ahead, root for whatever you want. <laughs> he got me with the try-hard noises. But I'll take it. Yeah. 
swinging with sharks. Okay, so I... Okay. God, it's dying. It's dying again. Wait, pipe cleaner? Mm -hmm. Like a pipe cleaner? Or are we... What, what, what oh, are we whoops. practicing? I didn't mean to practice, my bad. Are you sure? <laughs> nah, I'm, sh I'm sure. I'm sure we can handle it. Let's see, up, down, swing hammer. Ah, okay. I, I think I got it. Wait, you ready? Then? I understand the assignment. Mm -hmm. Pressing the wrong button. <laughs> So Tam, I fucking missed you, bro. How you doing? Oh, well, you said you were alright, but hi. Fucking missed you, bro. Wait a minute. Whoa. Ecre. <laughs> I see how it is. Thank you for the stretch. <laughs> Coin pot luck. Perfect. <laughs> what is that? It? You just take money? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, it's the pot luck of it. Give me your money. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Whoa! I did see you jump on Discord VC a few times. But I don't like jumping on Discord VC on my phone. Nasty quality. That's fair, yeah. I don't blame you there. <laughs> Bro, Yoshi didn't even have any coins. Make an opponent move in the opposite direction for one turn. What is this? Lucky lamp. Use it to call the mushroom genie and have, have her change the star's location of the map. Huh. 
sure. Oh my god, what is this land? Oh my god. Genie, hear me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't mean to disrespect, but that caught me off guard. I didn't know it was just gonna look like that. Zarga. She's horrifying, yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta we gotta chow down. Eat like your life depends on it. This game, yeah. And yet, he's the lost. Thank you for the resub. Eight months. Holy shit. Why was such a prisoner? Doing. Oh yeah, we play it. We play in Mario parties with the Ikri. You can uh, you can check out her stuff by clicking in the. Uh, I'm chilling and working. Nice, nice. You can click on her her at in the description. Or the the title. How goes the partying? Partying is going pretty good. Yo, yeah. hey, oh, actually one again. Hey, let's go. No. <laughs> Happy with my earnings. Ikri is uh, yeah. Daisy. I am playing as Wario. Oh, it, it, it's Ikri. Oh, Ekri? My bad. Okay. I always thought it was Ekri, I'm so sorry. 
Um, what do you mean, Twins? Hanging chat maple. Eek. Eek. Hey man, don't make fun of me. I I'm... just went by how I thought it was. I am not in there with Sanky. <laughs> oh come on. Battle game. Eek. Eek. Nice. I always thought it was, I thought it, I thought it was Ikri, I thought it... No, my old name is Ekrivan. Oh, it's not Ikrivane? No, it's never been Ikrivane. <laughs> Man, I've known you for a few months, you never told me different. <laughs> okay, I'll try, I'll try to remember. Ecrivain? Ec wait. Is... You, you can literally Vane? just call me Vane like everybody else does. Oh, Vane? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, Maple? <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Oh, we got move and jump. Yes. Yes. So what are you getting, Tony? <laughs> Whoa! My name is pronounced. <gasps> oh, they didn't even give me a chance to run. <laughs> What's your, your name is Maplay. <laughs> I've literally said this numerous times that my name is writer in French. <laughs> how are you just now getting this home? <laughs> You've been here for like god knows how long, six months? I don't know. I'll <laughs> sit for a month and I'm wondering. <clears throat> hey, Bull, please, please tell me you, you, you you knew my name meant writer. I didn't know it was French. You didn't even know that was French. <laughs> I thought I was a Chilean. Wait, you're French? <laughs> no, I'm not French. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. What? What is it know? Decreased French. Ekri, sorry. <laughs> My name, yes. Me personally, no. Otherwise, I wouldn't no, have had no, an no, accent. No, 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 no. You're an honorary French because you use French. But <laughs> Chile is not even a curry. Hey, yo, Helios sat here with all the licks going on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry. I can't believe you just said. <laughs> Uh. You're assuming I'm way smart. A Chile <laughs> is not a Korean mythical being. It is Chinese. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I didn't know a Chile existed until you told me. Yeah, I, I can figure that. Yes, it's Chinese. Are you a, are you a Chilin Chile? Like, how many- oh, well, ad break, sorry for those who are a sub. How many times <laughs> have I literally sat here and said, Chinese prosperity symbol? Why would I want a Chinese prosperity symbol if I- if what I am is not even related to Chinese? Oh. You know, 
know. <clears throat> maybe, maybe you just like, you just like. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Michael, you I'm learning either. so much okay, today. Very fine. But I would have assumed that one of you would have looked at like um the facts thing that I do. Like I did it like twice, and both times I've said my name means writer. It really, just goes to show you guys don't pay attention to me. <clears throat> oh, are you ready? Okay, yeah. Before I start also, I didn't, more. I didn't know that your your thing was going based off of Chinese. Oh, I just went. Um... <laughs> No. 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 Go. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I figure since you're a Chinese creature of myth, your name would also be Chinese. <laughs> no. Because Chinese is a little bit complicated when it comes to like picking a name that people would be able to like easily read. Now I'm not saying French is any easier, but at least you can like read the letters, the alphabet compared to Chinese. Oh, what's going on here? So do you want to hear something that's going to be really confusing? Um, what is it? Like really crazy. What is it? So, I don't know if you've ever like seen how my stuff goes or not. Mm -hmm. So, my character is a is a Greek myth mythical being. It's a chimera. My mm -hmm. my theme is usually like Japanese Oriental. He's a patriarch, so that goes with it. He lives in a world that is modern medieval, and. <laughs> His name has nothing has nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> welcome to the welcome, welcome back from the ad, everybody. Look from the ad. Mm. I don't wanna break from the ads. So thinking about my thing. <laughs> I'm technically Greek, Japanese, and medieval all at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Whoa. Can you be patient for things you really want? Yes. You can. Hey, I got my key back! Just for you to throw it away. Then. Oh, I'm not gonna throw it away. Just like you threw away my heart. No, I got it back. <laughs> okay, let's let the people let people think it's the same as over. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Was your, wait, was your heart the key? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it hit a block. Wait, are we just matching? Yeah, we're matching what we're supposed to see. We're matching what uh -oh. they show us. <laughs> Here, right. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I love making a surprise face that makes me look angry. Did I just make a fucking Neko Arc toad? Dang it. <laughs> I made. <laughs> I made a Neko Arc toad.
<laughs> uh, I also have no idea what that is. Uh, I don't want. <laughs> I. <laughs> so I don't have my glasses on right now, right? What? Why do you I mean, not have your glasses on? Eye tracking. Oh. Um. I mean, yeah, hopefully eye tracking is better. And I look down, I look at your chat, and I swear to god I thought I saw Tones say, I thought Areola. And I was like, uh, uh huh? Um, <laughs> why, are we to why are we talking about that? Oh, dang it, he's over there, so he's gonna send me back to this way. No, you said Ar Aurelia? I think? Necotoad. Necotoad. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna send me back this I wanna go back this way. I'm Did sorry, you... don't <laughs> I I did I couldn't read it properly. I hate it here. Why do you hate it here? Mm, I just wanna get to the other side. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm getting away from this. I see. I, I see what you did. Just, hey, yo. Oh. We're going in. Really, uh, this is a name derived from. Arius meaning golden. Also the scientific name for moon jellyfish. That's pretty cool. So here at Golden Maple. Yes, I will adorn my fur suit, and you will mistake me for, <laughs> for a turtle. Yeah, or jelly maple. Okay. <clears throat> Can you be patient for that? Yes, we answered this question. <laughs> have another key. See you later. Bye. I have two keys now. Hi. Yes, guys. <laughs> oh, why is it not? Dang it. Oh, is everything alright? Yeah. I already know how to play these games. You really don't have to wait for me. Well, I don't... I don't want to go in if you're not ready. Trust me, I can get ready. I'm a gamer. I can multitask. Oh, okay. So, you know how to play? Uh. Well, I think that has a note. <laughs> Fire missiles! Heck, we for a gamer. She's always ready. Yeah, pretty much. Oh shit, we playing Star Fox? What, are we shooting each other, or what are we doing? No. Mm -hmm. Come here. Where is everybody? Alright. Hey, Night me. Hydra, hello. Great, come here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, it's
No coins for you. Oh no, you asked me. <laughs> yeah, I had two hearts. Uh, I figured. You don't want to die. I couldn't. Hi, Hydra. <laughs> I tried to do like some Wario laugh and a laugh. Laugh? Did I laugh? What? Huh? He's laughing. <laughs> I can try to do a Wario laugh, and I think it came out. It came out as Ganondorf. <laughs> Whoa. Waluigi? What the hell are you doing, man? He's about to get another star, that's what he's doing. Bro doesn't even have coins, he's still coins. <laughs> Help me out. I like that. Thanks. No. Such a kind gentleman. Oh dear. Oh my. Z to ground pound. There is a ground pound button. Yeah, there's always been a ground pound button. Yeah. Oh god, why are you guys making sounds in my chat again? Is your chat meowing and roughing right now? Mm -hmm. Woo. Ah. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. <laughs> Man! <laughs> you see what happens when you try to take other people out? <laughs> hey, yo, Fappin on stream? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm clapping my clappers together. You know what? <laughs> I I'm not allowing you to... You know, you're clappers. Okay, but even if I do get a ride over... I, I just have to G pray that he gets like a less than the amount me. Gotta pray less than that. Did you know... Did you know that there actually is a sound of, a, of one hand clapping? And what is it? Sounds like that. <laughs> I can I can clap with one hand. Yes. Oh, why is it making any sound? Yeah, it does. I so you, you hold you hold your wrist still, right? Mm -hmm. Then you let the top part, the the fingers of your hand, go limp, and you tilt your wrist back, and then you just. Use your elbow, kind of, kind of go in like this sort of crank motion with your with your wrist, and you do it fast enough that you kind of whip your fingers into the bottom part of your palm. No. How the fuck did it? He... Well, since he couldn't get the one over there, they gave him one. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, my advice, don't do it too much, because you will hurt your hand if you do it too much. I'm guessing you did it too much. No, I'm alright right now. The IRS is going to get alerted <laughs> that, I've, that I'm clapping with one hand. Okay. 
Jesus. Yeah, I bet he goes that hard when he's rapping. Oh, dude, that fucking hurt. so you don't get to play. Aww. Oh. You just do some sort of gripping motion. Yeah, you could do that too, yes. Are you clapping himself? Where did he go? Just a gripping motion, yeah. Also, we're Ooh. a team! We're a team! Oh. You know what? Time to purposely lose. <laughs> what? The what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Okay, we better get like 20 logs. No, 30 logs. Okay, Otherwise so I, I cut give your you log. I give you log, you cut log, okay? Log. Faster! Oh. There you go. Faster! I have to do it in a certain way! <laughs> We're gonna lose at this rate. Master! You see, we lost because of you. Hey, man. You're the one that preemptively. Because you're supposed stuff. to move fast! We need to beat the computer! Now the main problem area is up Figure here. it out. All of this going we'll on up fine. here they, is what's causing me the they most needed a little bit discomfort. of cash money. Okay, right? but like yeah. honestly, like if I could move the tangent. This is the problem <laughs> area, bro. Look, if I could like move the tangia, I would. But I can't. So I don't know. No. You two played for the players to be more fun. Oh god. No, I did all that work to get over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Yippee! Also hold on, I need to I need to put W over uh over where she'll block the thing, because I didn't know. Is she gonna keep block? No, she she does like a fucking password tease. What the hell? It's free real estate. <laughs> what do you mean it's free real estate? What's free real estate? I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. What you guys are just finding out all the redeems I have for Tangia? I don't. Wow, look at you. You map. Thank you, I'm not going to... I'm going to try really hard to help you out. Yeah, man. Hi, I'm the skeleton key. Oh, you have to physically go up to it, okay. Open it. Don't forget about me. Who the fuck was that guy? <laughs> I don't have money. I don't have money. Whoa, River Raiders. Uh oh. Okay.
How you doing, chats? You guys doing all right? Just me and you guys right now. much you I'm doing pretty all right uh, I got that art grind going on I gotta do some art today I gotta I gotta see if I can maybe work on an incentive or two because I still haven't finished them okay and I'm maybe back there. okay so apparently uh, there is a way you guys can like decide where the Tangia things go I got um, a project going on that I'm finally able to do Art and stuff for her, so I'm like, hell yeah. I'm not into it. I'm working on this shit for six years. <laughs> Story wise. Since there's stuff for like custom placement. Well, we can work with it after, I guess. I am back and I got go full. Welcome back. I'm ready. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I feel like you're like a burping machine. Excuse me. Why are you so full of air? I don't know, man. Is there a jump button? No. Or do I just... You just move. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to get coins! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, Let's whoops. go, Yoshi! It's a big adventure. But yeah, oh, apparently, um, there's a thing where you guys can like, place them. I'll look into that. I think it's like, especially with, like the problem area one, it's like, I'm saying there's a problem area there, but it's like, you know, nothing there. Money? Yep. He took my fucking money. It's the typical last five turns. Oh. Really don't.
got my coins. Uh -oh. I work so hard for them. That was not Waluigi. That was not. <laughs> Don't. Don't for yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm just waiting. Right, so just waiting for you to notice. Notice what? In your chat. I got my chat. In your in your activity. What? The redeem? Yeah. Are you like in dire need of me saying it? Meow for me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> y'all you like this? Y'all like this? <laughs> Feel about that. This is bad. It was an opportunity <laughs> for a joke. Oh, well, that's not a joke. Uh, All right. What you get? Nothing. <laughs> I fucking missed. Oh, is you doing that bad? Oh, I missed. I swear I'm not. I swear I'm not bad at timing, guys. You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> you put a full dollars. Coconut conk. Who is it? Oh, what a wee tree. We got a brown diamond. On it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it <laughs> over here. Thank you, Yoshi. <laughs> can, can you imagine that you're actually part of these games, right? And then they shove you in a barrel and don't tell you why, and they just roll you out there. <laughs> Whoa, last four turns. Got my coins. Oh, sixty eight. Somebody was short. 
the short one. Select a color. Yep. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Just get lucky, forehead. It was right before disaster. Wait, we're back into the snow. What does he Yoshi? Oh. Man, this is some fucked up shit, though. It's too many wires. I want it. Yeah. I want it blue. Mm -hmm. um. No, I don't think you want. Oh wait, never mind. Oh. I was like, I don't think you wanted blue. <laughs> no, I want a green. It's probably green. So sorry. I knew it. I knew it. Don't worry, you can't accept it. You get the rest of the coins. Oh, okay. Shits and giggles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They used to call me Wowzer back in high school. Oh, you what? <laughs> they used to call me Wowzer back in high school. Shoot. Shoot arrow. <laughs> nice, you got no. Dude, what the hell was that? I like that, that question. Bows with the Wowser. Bows with the Wowser. Yeah. Making everyone go, wow. Chip shot challenge. Oh, it's just Mario Golf. But timed. Yeah. This is so weird.
Oh, do I have to hold it down to do the power? No. Oh. oh. That's why. Dang. You probably got it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Watch, yeah, watch Yoshi get it. Oh, that's a little, a little too strong, buddy. A little too strong. No. Nope. Too... Wait! What? He did it! Mm -hmm. I was right. He did it. Holy cow. On the same board for two hours. For two hours? Yeah, it's been two hours. Well, what do you think Mario Party is? <laughs> Monopoly. Are you gonna make me go? Rose just started, not even asking if I'm ready. Well, you also did say that I could just start it whenever, I don't have to ask. <laughs> True, I did say that. Huh? Ah! Thank you for getting rid of them for me. <laughs> you <laughs> used me. Yeah. Stealing my coin. Oh, I keep stealing your coins. Good. Yeah. Hey, Tom. If there's a bonus star for most coins, you got it already. Yeah. <laughs> Got the Ghostbuster spray? No, I'm so close. Big Brain is using Big Brain? What do you mean? I'm using Big Brain. A small brain. Oh, what the hell? What? What's the what the hell for? Help. 
What this? Hey, the TikTok clock. Okay. TikTok clock clock. Um, uh, pray that we're actually going to good. This is giving me anxiety. Yeah. I mean, bro, we're only fighting for like two coins. Yeah. Just give up, Luigi. You really don't need those two coins. Okay, I didn't suffer a loss. <laughs> Congrats on your two coins. Two, <laughs> here's your two schmeckles. Yeah. He got he got a coin profit. Yeah. Oh, I think I figured it out, guys. Oh. What? I think now they should be able to like get rid of the beam score. one of your redeems titled Daddy? Mm, redeem it and find out. I, I don't know if I want to. Okay. <laughs> but okay. Daddy! Okay, yeah, there we go. Now you guys can place it wherever on the screen. The uh, Tanji redeem. I don't know if it works for like I don't know what it, What, you didn't hear it? No, what the I don't fuck? have your... What is happening? I don't have your stream open on my computer. Oh, uh, well. Uh, you you uh, wasted a thousand then. Because it's something you have to listen to. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, bro, you're turning this into like a demonic kind of stream. Yeah. <laughs> Maple. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god, what is this? What the heck? Father. Father, help. <laughs> Father, help. <laughs> Dog, you need better internet. I'm running on DSL. <laughs> Yo, our, our internet runs through like, telephone wire. Our game is cursed. Yeah. Never done this. It's okay, one. don't worry guys. Don't worry. Oh. Oh the path is frozen, so it's slippery. Don't panic. Exercise caution and control. Can you up exercise control? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh. Of course I follow. Of course okay. I did. Do what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no! I keep falling off! <laughs> 
my mom walked in at a very unfortunate I, time. I knew it was, I was, I was mom. talking to her. I think Waluigi's got it. Yeah. Oh, so hard. Yeah, I wasn't able to do anything because my mom walked in. Everything okay? Yeah, she's going to work. She's just telling me goodbye. Aww. We love parents that say goodbye. Yeah. I know it's the last turn. Yo, last turn. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo. Bro, there's no star over here. What are you doing? Oh yeah, anyways. It's the last turn now. With my turn. Then I go and need my rat. I'm gonna take this key with me to the very end. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever meow? Yes, I did. Oh, I never heard it. Mm, unfortunate. <laughs> Can you do it again? Unless you redeem it. <laughs> I don't think you heard what I heard. Huh? But... Well, what did you think so you heard? So, the audio glitched when Waluigi said something. It what? was like, yeah, but uh, all I heard was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Four. Money. What does it mean if they're yellow? Friendly. Everybody wins. Oh, okay. Move, jump, attack. Okay. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I'm not Waluigi. Oh. Ah! Jesus, Yoshi. Oh my god. Yoshi, please. Okay. <laughs> you better jump, jump. Oh. Uh-oh. Waluigi, no! Suck ass at the back of Denny's. We know you do. <laughs> you ready? Whoa. Might win. Stars, whoa. Oh, thank you for the applause. Hello, Roxas. Minigame star. Yeah. I'm catching up on. Oh, mm. oh, I caught up. Mm. You better pray I don't get the last star. <laughs> I guess I win because of coins. Yeah, just because of your coins. <laughs> Isn't that it. unfortunate? You had the lead the whole time and then in came the bonus stars. Yeah. <laughs> I won! <laughs> Why play the Titanic flute? I don't need it. I won. <laughs> I think they're doing it for me. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's okay, Don. You enjoyed being in the lead for the entire game. Alright. Well, we partied. What you wanna do now? Yeah. Do what? What you wanna do now? Uh, I'm not really sure. I may go draw here in a little bit. Okay, babe. Gotta, gotta do concept arts. Oh, for what? For my project. Mmm. Alright. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, we'll go. A person went to the home screen. Yeah. <laughs> because you said you, you, you were going to go do concept stuff. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. Why is it not take a walk outside. What is going on? Mm. Don did not win. Yeah, he didn't win. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on? Why is my stream breaking down? Oh, sorry guys. Alright, if you want to go and harass somebody for their false wit- Don't! Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> if you want to- if you want to go see my buddy Ekrivan, so I found that out today, you can check in the, uh, How's your back, Don? My back's doing better. You can go and check them. Uh, click on their stuff in the description or description in the uh, in the title. <laughs> so go check them out. Hold on, let's let's open up the the Googles and let's see who we can raid today. Yeah, guys, you know Don. Go follow him. <laughs> no, no, no. Go follow. Ekri, go follow Ekri. Yeah. <laughs> They're French, but not French. <laughs> <laughs> Commit harassment by being friends, yes. You know what? That oh, is so like, true. It's like Butters is online. Ever since we became friends, he's yeah. been harassing me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I enjoy his presence. Yeah. I enjoy yours. Who's this dumb guy? Seems sus. <laughs> <laughs> I see a butter, yeah. Also, I'm sorry if the stream fucking just died because I opened up Twitch and Twitch makes it go shit. <laughs> or so OBS says. OBS is kind of stinky. It likes to lie a lot. I think I'll I think I'll go raid butters. Cause yeah, who's this Don guy? Seems so. Mm -hmm. Who's this Ekri Ekri person? Seems so. Okay, come on, you guys, look at me. Come on, internet, work with me. Actually, what the fuck? What the fuck am I even doing? Like, I can't. What are you doing? <laughs> I have to write on my phone because Twitch has been stinky. Yeah, I usually write from my phone anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, look me in the eyes and tell me that I am a god, right, Mario Party, partier, <laughs> right now. You cheated. Holmes didn't believe in me, and now look where I got you. <laughs> Don is more stinky. What the hell, man? But yeah, chat. I'll probably be back tomorrow, but <sighs> I can't look at you. I'm looking at the Giga Chat. Wow. First tones now, you ninja. You're leaving me for Don. <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs>
Dawn is a god in training. <laughs> so what am I then? <laughs> Alrighty, chat. I'll see you guys later. Go treat butters properly. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye, chat. Okay, we're gonna have to wait out the timer. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I don't know, God or demigod. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take God. Demigod is. What do you mean, half God? I'm not half. I'm full God. If anybody's half, it's Dawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want me to, like, mute you or something? need to mute me? I mean, I'm, I'm asking if you want to be muted. I mean, technically, you're supposed to be oh, muted. I'm probably about to head out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I agree. We all know that Dawn let you in. <laughs> Then how come he didn't win Damn. the bonus stars? Yeah. Mm hmm. And and anyway, he only got like an extra star because he got like fucking Mickey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What should we do now, guys? Since Dawn is leaving us. Yeah. You guys stay safe. Have a good one. Don't 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 be mean to to Ekri. I will send down the wrath of a million uh, rubber ducks. <laughs> rubber ducks. Rubber ducks. That I will. I will. <clears throat> I'm. I will fuck a cloud <laughs> and get it to rain. <laughs> That's where my mind went. Anyways. Yeah, if you if you don't treat her right, I will throw rubber ducks. Okay, you better start throwing some because they're mistreating me right now. Oh my god. Bro said, yeah, he was being a good sport. Another says, does Don feel bad for me? <laughs> they really just can't accept the fact that I'm a good gamer. Nah, she did good. I swear she did good. Thank you. Already. Yeah. Alrighty, y'all stay safe. Bye bye. 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 Alright, guys. What should we do now? Do we, do we, um, do we do supermarket, Tim? Or do we want to do something else? Mm -hmm. You gotta be a good sport and be nice at all for losing. It did good, but you wiped the floor with him? No, I didn't. He was literally leading for like the entirety of the game until I got the bonus stars. What do you mean I wiped the floor with him? And the only reason I won is because I had more coins than he did. Uh, supermarket, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. No, we'll, we'll do supermarket after that, Ed. Just give me some time to eat a little bit. Yeah, that was a collab. Um, I have how many? More this week.
Hi Gar, welcome to the stream. Oh wait, Gar can't hear me. Tell Gar I say hi. Welcome back from the ad, everybody. Welcome back. Yeah, now the ad is over. Um, we can play. But that also means say goodbye to my model. So if you want to give me like headpats or anything, and that was the dime before my model goes away. Actually, now that I'm looking, I have really pretty eyes. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have a really nice eyes. <laughs> I didn't know I sounded a little bit vain right there, but they really look pretty. Oh my god. My Palma did a really good job. <laughs> but yeah, if you like want to give me head bats or anything, now's the time. Before, like, disappear into my PNG. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I had to close up my stuff. Alright. Bye, everybody. My model is now no longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi! It's me! Mm-hmm. 
Sorry. Oh, thank you, Charles. <laughs> Even though I literally like just switched. <laughs> Whoops. Cleaner tablets. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed the collab. I know I did. I had fun. Not as fun to have around. Yeah, we have the Tuesday. Let's see. We have three more collabs coming up.
Ooh, I need water. Water is him in the sushi. Mm See, I have nothing in the reserves. All right, let's start. Oh, God, putting all this away. Let me find this stuff that I actually need. Where am I kicking? Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm not playing 2000 musics today, unless you want me to, I don't mind. Just say the word and I'll switch the, mm, the playlist. No. Oh. 
Mm, no. This is. <sighs> Do I need most right now? I guess I can do the water. All right. Hope I don't need anything else. <laughs> um, I guess I can get more pizza and fries. Pizza fries, crap stick. I guess I can get breaks. Ah, the money I spend on these people. I give them everything and this is how they treat me. I am beyond bold. I give them a convenient place to shop and this is how they repay me.
Alright, well, I guess there's no space anywhere for now. We'll just toss them in and wait. <laughs> At this point, I'm tired of fussing at them. They're never going to spend more. <laughs> they only buy what they need. Excuse me, the whole point of a supermarket is that you buy what you need and everything else. <laughs> right, you come in for what you need and that's what you didn't think you'd need.
Look, man. I can barely find my life. <laughs> Oh my god, they're taking forever again. Mm -hmm. Hurry up and scan his damn items. All not finished today. Sorry. <laughs> 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 to do my little setup. Oh, now I have to wait till I'm 56. Get new licenses. That's such pain. They're really making you grind. Clean soda, dishwash. Is it this one? No, the water. Absolutely need like flower, flower, cereal, and the tablet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're out of vodka? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the hummus. Okay, I'll forget this time. I have no idea what this is. All oh, prosciutto. Okay, prosciutto. Yes. And then coffee. Great. Let's do that first and then see how the store looks.
Oh my god, get out of my way. No. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, this is more flower. Great. And then we'll see how the store looks. This could get more cleaner in the six pack and the lasagna. Oh, so many things I need. Oh, that other cheese. Mm. Should be fine. I guess I should get tea. Oh, I'm out of bread. Oh god, I'm out of bread. You ever just look up and suddenly you're out of bread? And all your plans of using that bread to go down the drain? Uh, elbows. Mm. All right.
so much before I can open up my store. It'll be kind of fun though. If we could like hit people with the boxes. <laughs> Um, I don't have any open spaces. Butch. All right, this is gonna have to make some. <laughs> Probably should have put the bread first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, maybe I might have to get more shelves, <laughs> especially now that I have more products. Uh, more ranks. Laundry, <laughs> what the fuck, Maple? Are you just gonna come into my chat and be like a warm laundry? That's us. But I'm guessing you guys just did laundry. See, hand soap. I guess beer cereal. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some warm blankets right out of the dryer. It's some X comp. The wish it wasn't so cold in here. And my feet are freezing. I mean, well, my entire body's freezing, but you know.
Wait, I don't ice cream? Here it is. <sighs> Give me your damn card. Ah, my face. I hate that people are fucking move when they're handing me their card. Like, just stand still, goddammit. Why is everybody coming to me? Uh, whatever. I don't know what I just did. Can we send the goal? Hey, look, I call dips for stones. You go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a cold. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> Why is everybody coming to me? Oh my god. Ugh. First come, first serve. Oh god. Maple's one of those people. Yeah, well, those people are like, first come, first serve. We get here and not first. Well, suck balls. <laughs> literally, you can literally go to anybody else right now. Uh, now I see why I hired the guy. I'm gonna rehire the guy. I, I can't be fluffed. I'm not going with plushies. Y'all hurry up and finish shopping. I'd like to go home today. Well, if she's come first, okay, we'll just be out here in the cold. <laughs> right? Maple's rather be with the plushies than actual human being. Mm -hmm. You fail, yay. Oh, yes, can one of you see if, like, you're able to, like, custom, like, put where the Tangia appears? Or is that, like, a bits-only kind of thing? Um, it should be a panel now.
emotional, damn it! So, so is it only, is it bit only? To like, custom put it somewhere? Oh god, I'm so cold. Oh, uh, give me one sec. I'm trying to like brain right now. Is going. Oh, it's only bits. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, that's cheap. I mean, I meant cheap and like that sucks. <laughs> I thought you guys would be able to without, um, having the pain but I guess you have to <laughs> also thank you for the bits meeple uh, what else did it say That's right. <laughs> okay, rice and sugar. Got it. Go away to the club. <laughs> oh my god. I hate these new prices. You know what I mean. Uh-uh. Another damn hot. Really want to lay. What is it? It's expansion. Oh, I can probably get another one. I do this day. Yeah. I kind of wish they didn't do that, that they made it like fits only to like custom pin somewhere. <sighs> well, you guys still have the other stuff. So I hope that's comforting. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Yes, I'm running my store with little products. Because <laughs> I want to expand. Mm Everybody just be taking three of everything. Like, this is like some free for all. I do not approve. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to hire the guy. Do my work for me. How much she's spending? Acceptable. I like it. Come back next time. Guys, 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 guys. Okay. So, after I get my next expansion, do you guys want to watch another video essay? What essay? I said a video essay. Video. Unless you're asking what video essay, then you know what a remos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh look, Maple has a bit badge. Which one is it? <laughs> Wait, which bit badge is that? <laughs> <laughs> the one bit badge. <laughs> yeah, you're a seedling. Tom's doesn't wear his bit badge anymore. After all the little fuss he put up about them. <laughs> <laughs> he said, wait, <laughs> he never noticed. <laughs> Oh my god. Guys, it's so cold in here that my cold water became even colder. I think I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> Oh, 
Honestly, I just want heat maple. I don't care where it comes from. I just don't want to be cold anymore. <laughs> wow, what a lion. But yeah, I, I don't care where the warmth comes from, as long as I'm warm. <laughs> Tones, you know I don't have money for a weighted blanket. Bro's like, get a weighted blanket for it. <laughs> Oh, look at the little bit badge, so cute. <laughs> Uh. Yay, we have more space. We're expanding into the building. Only fifty four. Get out of my store. All right. We will save and then go to video watching. <laughs> you think they have weighted blankets on here though? No, don't know until you look. Let me see. No. I think they got it. A weighted plush? What, what the fuck is this? Oh. <laughs> Oh dear god. Alright, let me also change the category. Wait, huh? What category are we in right now? <laughs> oh. We are not in the right category. Can you guys change it? I'm just chatting. Are any of the mods present? I can't believe it's it. Weighted nipple clamps. What the fuck? <laughs> Mm 
Hmm. And that is a lot of money. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. We actually do have weighted blankets here. But naturally they are expensive as expensive as fuck. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, um, I may have to nuke the VOD. <laughs> I might have to nuke it. So, well, uh, that's enough throwing for today. That is enough throwing for today. <laughs> Y'all didn't see anything. You guys did not see anything. <laughs> you did not see anything. And if you say you did, you're lying. Mm. Oh, yes, I'm not playing anymore. Uh, I can come back as my model. Oh, Maple, can you change it to just chatting? <laughs> oh, good, you didn't see it. Oh my gosh. Huh. It's me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Huh? Believe. Me, make me big. Uh, how big am I? Okay, there we go. N n nobody saw it, right? Nobody did. All right. Okay, that's good. Wait. No audio. <laughs> oh, no audio. I'm sorry. I love how you're all saying, see what? See what? It was just proves my point that you didn't see it, which is good. Last thing I need is for anybody to see. I can't believe the legal dwarf just told me that. Iron 
Mouse's Twitch's most illustrious VTuber has not only captivated audiences with her meteoric rise to fame and joyful content, but has also played a pivotal role in energizing the VTubing community as a whole. But behind the scenes, her journey is marked by an inspiring battle against chronic illness, showcasing her extraordinary resilience. Through challenges and obstacles, Iron Mouse has proven that perseverance can turn adversity into inspiration. This is the story of Iron Mouse. I don't know about you guys, but all these negative posts I have to read sometimes got me all stressed up. That's why our next video sponsors Royal Match is the perfect free game. No ads in my house. Vegan. Via V2. Oh, I think it would do far. Oh my god. VTuber had a Iron Mouse is a below and now back to the video it's safe to say iron mouse is a pioneer of vtubing first of all she began streaming in early august 2017 with a very unique and cheap setup before the term vtuber had even really taken off she didn't start streaming because she wanted to be a vtuber she used a vtuber avatar to be able to stream you see iron mouse has been living with a chronic illness called cvid cvid or common variable immune deficiency is a disorder that impairs the immune system, leading to increased susceptibility to infections and often requiring lifelong management. When you think about it, CVID is the most common to have of primary immune deficiency diseases, but it's still rare. It basically extreme decrease, that's my issue. My issue is not that my immune system attacks me, it's that it doesn't know when to attack. Iron Mouse's original dream was to become a coloratura soprano opera singer, but fate had a different path in store for her. Iron Mouse found herself largely bedridden and isolated from the outside world. She would lay day in and day out in her bed, requiring multiple oxygen tanks and plasma transfusions. How much does a uh, one bag of plasma cost? Depends on how much and the brand but anywhere from $10,000 to like $15,000. Yet, in the depths of her solitude, she refused to succumb to the challenges she faced and decided to start streaming as a mean to overcome her isolation. I've been pretty lonely my whole life and I decided I wanted to do something with my life and I didn't want to fade away. And uh, I started doing this and uh, I feel like slowly through this I've been getting my life back and I've been getting myself back and uh, that's thanks to everybody and it's not just everyone and by everyone i mean you guys too and everybody watching and you guys that are here too and uh so thank you thank you all so much the streams were a way to push herself to be active she gave herself the goal to stream longer and longer and little by little she did manage to hit those goals at first she was even reticent to use the term vtuber as it was most commonly used to describe the likes of kizuna ai who mostly used 3d technology and pre-recorded content as opposed to live streaming secondly she didn't even start on twitch right away she was first a you now virtual streamer using only a face rig purchased for 5.99 and a free steam workshop avatar paired with a pair of iphone headphones as a microphone this is also why i love citing iron mouse's example as how you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a vtuber rig to be successful i started because i used face rig with like a free avatar oh. i didn't uh -huh. even have my own i just did it only got face rig for like five five ninety nine <laughs> and i used a free avatar from the workshop i didn't even have a microphone or anything like i used the headphones from an iphone <laughs> She then went on to create her Twitch and YouTube accounts on September 28th and 29th, 2017, respectively, but kept on streaming on YouNow for a few months before finally making the decisive switch to Twitch. In December 2019, she revealed her first original L2D model designed by Katama, dubbed the Season 1 model. It wasn't until 2020 that the fruits of her labor began to truly manifest. With her signature high-pitched voice, a consequence of lung infection complications, she captivated audiences with a blend of wit. If I'm such a baby, why don't you breastfeed me? Humor. Yeah. Oh, Let me hold your wood. Eager. You can hold my wood. 
genuine connections with her viewers. Thank you for giving me your time because I know your time is valuable and you guys have a lot of things to do. It warms my heart and it's so nice that you guys take time out of your day. And extraordinary talent. When I look at you, what I always see is the face of someone else who once belonged to me. The onset of the COVID pandemic and the ensuing lockdowns directed thousands of eyes from around the world to social media and streaming platforms. While the pandemic's impact significantly boosted viewer numbers at the time, I doubt it was the sole factor contributing to hers or anyone else's success during that period. And I want to know if Lightning McQueen was car cum sized. If Lightning McQueen was what? Car cum sized. Car cum. Oh! Uh, 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 huh. Indeed, the Roman philosopher Seneca once remarked, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. This suggests that those deemed lucky were not merely in the right place at the right time, but also possessed the talent and had undertaken the necessary preparations to seize the moment successfully. I believe this sentiment applies quite aptly here. It was also during this period that she began to fully embrace the title of VTuber. She also became a Twitch partner and revealed her 3D model as well as reached YouTube partnership. This success allowed her to better afford healthcare, which in turn enabled her to stream for longer hours, a significant achievement in itself. However, her greatest milestone was reached on November 24th when she announced her involvement with V Shoujo, joining forces with Project Melody, Silver Veil, Zentreya, Niatasha Nianers, Fruit, and Hime Hajime. What's even more impressive is that Iron Mouse didn't just join V Shoujo, she was essentially one of its founding members. Members. The idea was conceived during a call between Project Melody and the current founder, Gundrun. At that time, the concept of founding a VTuber agency in the West was groundbreaking, and their lineups consisted of some of the most notable VTuber Twitch talents available, a truly all-star lineup. She assured her audience that her content and free-spirited style would remain unchanged even though she joined the corporation. What's happening? What's gonna change? And the answer is... Change. 2021 further cemented Iron Mouse's status as a leading VTuber, securing her spot among the top female Twitch streamers in October. Throughout the year, she introduced various 2D and 3D models, each with a unique backstories and themes. This practice would become a hallmark of her VTuber journey, resulting in a lengthy list of VTuber models. But hey, we're not complaining, keep the VTuber models coming. Collaborations with notable VTubers and popular YouTubers significantly broadened her audience. Her charity fundraiser stream for the Immune Deficiency Foundation was a testament to her commitment to positive change, raising over $100,000. Additionally, her involvement in Vils Volume 3, a major VTuber event in Japan, also attended by her VShojo colleagues, underscored her global influence. But one of the most touching moments of that year occurred during the Nianers elimination event in VR chat hosted by Ruffle Gator. It was there that Iron Mouse and Nianers shared an embrace for the first time, overcome with emotion and tears. Despite the flaws that the VTubing community has, remember that it is through its innovative format and technology that a bedridden girl was enabled to experience the joy of hugging her friend for the first time. Iron Mouse continued her journey through 2022 with significant milestones and expensive growth. She unveiled a new L2D model angel form, a personal favorite of mine, and celebrated her 6,669th birthday with a Sentai style 3D model. She embarked on a 31 day subathon that broke records. during which she achieved the status of the most subscribed to female streamer, the number one currently subscribed streamer, and the number three all-time most subscribed channel on Twitch. He said that to you. He 
he holds the record for most subs of all time, so if you know, see me. <laughs> God, <laughs> what the hell? That's actually insane. We're gonna get made in one of those of fucking you. books. For historic charity, Subathon was not just a record-setting event, but also demonstrated her commitment to philanthropy, raising significant funds for the Immune Deficiency Foundation. This effort, coupled with a surge in subscribers and overwhelming support, propelled Iron Mouse to unparalleled success on Twitch. The subathon also led to frequent appearances on the popular subreddit LSF, as multiple clips of her, especially those showcasing her singing, went viral. This period marked her integration into the core of Twitch culture and community. Do you, do you watch normal porn now or no? No, I watch Anton. Her collaborations expanded beyond the VTuber niche, notably with popular flesh streamers such as Miskif, who featured her in his game shows, thereby further solidifying her presence in a broader array of events. Additionally, that year, she became the first VTuber to be nominated for and win the prestigious Content Creator of the Year Award at the Game Awards show. Um, the winner is Iron Mouse. And she continued to win several awards. I'm sorry. I, I just had to, well, for starters, I have to do something real quick. But also, I wouldn't be able to say I did something with my life too. I feel like a major disappointment. Uh all throughout her career. However, with increased attention came both positive focus and negative criticism. Among the detractors was Brittany Venti, who ignorantly accused Iron Mouse of pandering to quote-unquote horny parasocial men in her chat. Right? Best moves. Like, it's just something understand? about the way she's talking to them and the way that they're communicating back it has that very strong parasocial dynamic. Again, plus the whole bio of I'm on purpose trying to be an anime waifu. It's not because she's an anime waifu. Ooh, you're masturbating to me, right? Ooh, don't forget to be a tier three sub. Even going as far as to call it a pipeline to OnlyFans. This is a wild take considering that anyone who has ever watched even a bit of Iron Mouse's content would know this accusation doesn't hold true. She added those jiggle mechanics. What the hell? Evil twin! Thank you for the- She didn't have to have jiggle mechanics on the VTube model. That is pretty much for the- for the reason of making boys online horny. You, oh, you mean this? <laughs> Venti also has a history of targeting VTubers, as she has previously done this with Gargura, a point I covered in my video on Gargura. Brittany also mocks Iron Mouse's high-pitched voice, which, as I've explained before, is the result of a chronic illness. The only reason why I started any of this was because I was lonely and because I was, I was at a point in my life where I was the lowest that I could ever be. I struggled so much in my life. She even hints at doubting the existence of said disease, which is a low blow, even for Venti. Here's what's so funny. She told y'all, no, 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 no. We're gonna sit down and work through this, okay? You're telling me shit sat down here and told y'all I have a condition. Similarly, another content creator named Quinn69 made disparaging comments about his feelings towards VTubers, going so far as to claim that most VTubers fake their voices. And then he talk in this stupid fake fucking voice. Uh, oh my god, I'm a little VTuber. 
Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Laughing and pretending to be fucking 13. This led to Iron Mouse receiving an influx of hate in her chat. Despite this, she remained understanding and compassionate towards these individuals. Quinn later went live using his own VTuber avatar to explain that his comments were intended as a joke and acknowledged that the situation escalated into undue hate, partly because it was posted on the popular subreddit Livestream Fails. As Iron Mouse's popularity grew, so did the numbers of her critics. Nonetheless, this never diminish the positivity in her stream content or even the overall viewer experience her true accomplishment really lies <laughs> right tones oh my god i'm actually a dude in real life <laughs> i've been faking my woman voice this whole time <laughs> god i lost it really <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> you sing voice changer. Yeah, I'm using a voice changer. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. I can't even take myself seriously doing that. Oh my god. I'm such a kawaii girl online. Give me all your money. <laughs> okay, okay, let's continue. Lies Before and I get carried away. It would have been so simple to give in to the negativity. But overcoming yet another obstacle is, in my opinion, an even more profound victory. Iron Mouse had been working so hard for so long that she was now able to reap the rewards of her hard work. Through her success, Iron Mouse transformed what once seemed to be the impossible dream of becoming a singer into reality. Through her ventures with V Shoujo, she has essentially risen to the status of an idol. She headlined three highly produced solo 3D concerts. The first was her birthday concert featuring her original song Waifu Jam, banger name. And the second one was a live 3D concert called Candy Pop Explosion featuring her original song Sour Taste. And the more recent one known as Satan Gang Attack of the Magic Cloud. The latter being a hundred thousand dollar production. A concert themed around the V Shoujo Academy and showcased some of her original songs. It also featured an original song created with Bubby, Sea Dog's VTuber persona, and included her colleagues Project Melody and Giga as wait, backup wait, dancers. Wait, 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 wait. Along with she just called Booby Bubby? How dare. I, I will not stand for that. <laughs> Miss, get it right next time, okay? <laughs> with guest appearances from Kason, Matara Khan, and their CEO, Gunrun. The friendship between Sea Dog and Iron Mouse is truly unique and warrants a significant mention in this video. Their connection began when Sea Dog invited Iron Mouse to collaborate on a video project where they would redub the worst hentai ever made. Interestingly, what started as a work session turned into hours of conversation, highlighting the genuine bond they formed beyond their professional collaboration. This marked the beginning of a genuine friendship that would endure for years. Their chemistry is unparalleled, with a back and forth banter that's absolutely on point. I didn't feel any pressure in saying stuff, and that was nice. And so we kind of just spoke a lot outside of the streaming, and I just thought that she was a really like interesting and, and unique person. I got and she told me more about a uh, uh, disease because at the time I was like, I got oh, that I shut off my brain. Sea Dog has become an essential part of her channel, so much so that he's even incorporated her into her lore as Bubby. Their collaboration is so frequent that he even has a setup allowing her to join his stream whenever she feels like chiming in. Oh my goodness. 
I scared the f out of me. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm straight up chat. Through Connor, Iron Mouse has traveled all over the world to places she's always dreamed of visiting. Due to her immunodeficiency, she can't visit these places in real life, so their streams have a unique setup. Connor visits the locations on her behalf, and she guides him in a Ratatouille-like manner while they stream. This innovative approach has taken them from exploring Tokyo... Uh, whatever... I don't know, whatever you want, I feel like Child. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> to visiting a Chicago flower park. Wow, look at it from this angle. Wow. <laughs> it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Dude, right? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> you want me to blow your mind again? Yeah. All right. Baby. Take a look at this. What the heck? How is this even real? It's like something out of <laughs> Minecraft. <pretty> cool. <laughs> Hold up. <clears throat> I'm gonna need a second here. All right, let's carry on. To visiting aquariums. Penguin! To going to Sanrio Puro Land. Yeah! Hi guys, welcome to the stream. We're at uh, Sanrio Puro Land. When you walk in, mm -hmm. this is what you see. Walk oh in. my god, it's so beautiful. To attending Sailor Moon's museum. They're so big. Yeah, they're massive. Like, it's bigger. Who's this one? Oh, that's the Spiral Moon Heart Run. Not Spiral Moon. That's the Moon Eclipse Run. The Crescent Wand! I had one of those. Really? Yeah. And even going to the beach with Gunrun. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's not waterproof. At least the iPad that. is not waterproof. <laughs> During one of her subathon that lasted over a full month in 2023, she took a break to do a 10 hour long Disneyland stream with Connor. Iron Mouse had previously mentioned that she had applied to become a Disney princess in the past. So this was one hell of a nice way to go full circle. <laughs> In so many ways, Connor and Iron Mouse's friendship has managed to create some of the most memorable moments on stream while fulfilling. Okay. Oh man. I, I really love the friendship that they have. Like genuinely. It's not every day that you meet somebody that you just click with so much and that no no matter what happens, you know, they're always there for you and vice versa. I mean, I will admit, I am a little envious because I've basically gone through life without... <laughs> not to say, like, not with, like, the, the, not to say I went through life without friends. I did have friends, but not... I don't want to say they weren't genuine because they were, but I guess not genuine enough. Because if you ask me how many of the people I made friends with in the past I still talk to, that would be zero. Um, now, of course, part of it is because, you know, I didn't reach out, but it was also because, you know, I was always doing the reaching out. So I said, you know what, fine. I won't anymore. And that was that. And so, for a pretty long time, um, what is it? Essentially, ever since I graduated high school, I didn't really have friends. That's been for like 
quite a few years now. But, um... I would say I did get a bit lucky in college. <laughs> yeah, I, I did get a bit lucky in college, landing a few actually genuine friends. And I just kind of feel like the people that I'm like supposed to meet and be friends with the people who are like probably halfway across the world you know because it just it just really feels hard trying to connect with the people who are around me because obviously i knew i was different i always knew i was different from everybody Not and like oh you know i'm emo or whatever just the way I do things and the way I think and just I was different and it wasn't really easy to connect and I mean part of that's because well I even do still do it now where I don't what was the word I'm looking for um, like even if I consider us close, I still won't really tell you what's going on unless you have like my complete and utter trust, you know, like sure, I may tell you I may, <laughs> why did I was have an accent there? I may tell you like little bits and pieces, right, but I'll never really just sit there and tell you everything. And then that's also probably because, like, I also don't want to bother people, you know? Because this also, this also goes back to what I've said before many times. I grew up with the mentality of thinking, like, I have to do everything myself. And that also goes for, like, dealing with issues. I have to deal with it myself. So, you know, yeah, I am trying a little bit to be less guarded and allow people in, but I feel even then, um, hard because again, it's online. You don't really know who you can trust. Because, like, if all the people coming out about, you know, people basically being uh, sexual predators and stuff like that, I mean, that's a completely different thing, but even still, it's like, you considered them a friend, and then only to find out that they did this, and it just breaks your trust. And I mean, I don't, I don't really think like anything big happened when I was growing up that I'm like, oh, I don't trust people at all. I think it's just a side effect of everything else that I always felt I needed to be guarded around people. But yeah, like it's, it's just nothing personal, guys. If I don't tell you things or anything like that, just how I am. And like I was saying, like, the other day, things are hard to change about yourself. So sometimes you have to bear with the person. And it's also because, not also because, and it's also... The person has to want to change as well. Hmm. 
but but the whole the whole point of this little speech the uh, spiel is spiel yeah the whole, the whole point of this was you know i do want to find a friend and have like a friendship like iron mouse and connor's which is why i got a little eerie because you know It really sounds nice having someone there for you. Someone you can always, you know, turn to. No friends are tough to make and keep. Yeah, yeah, they are. Like, that's just the fact of life, unfortunately. And, like, sucks even more when people don't even like make their intentions known like let's say you know you're trying to become friends with somebody and then you know they're not really feeling it and they don't tell you that they don't want to be your friend and so you're just sitting there wondering like what is going on why aren't they you know responding or whatever like that you know i just hate when people aren't just upfront about stuff it's okay being comfortable is important in relationships of course of course i'm not saying you should get into one that makes you feel uncomfortable but it's just for somebody like me it's more difficult like even if like somebody tells me that i can like trust them and stuff like that and like they show that they can be trusted I'm only going to like half believe them because sure you can say all that now but then come like maybe next week you turn on me because of I don't even know like one little thing and suddenly you know everything is out in the open and I'm reliving that same nightmare all over again. And that is definitely something I want to avoid. Yeah, having a close friend like that would be amazing. Yeah. But obviously, you know, it's not like you're just going to... um, Not like it's just going to happen instantly. Like, you have to obviously build that up and stuff like that. Like, they they aren't where they are without building it up. Oh, but yeah. Uh, let's finish the video um and then we can talk more Telling some of her lifelong dreams and those moments are so beautiful because they're so genuine so real and so relatable i'm just really glad they found each other anyway w connor said so much fun <laughs> oh very tear up No, don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh no. British man hears emotion 2022. I can't. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying. This is, I'm, I'm so happy and I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We'll get to do it for real one day too. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Just a day. preview, you know? Yeah, one day for real. A warm up. Yeah. It wasn't until I met Iron Mouse, who suffers from common variable immunodeficiency, where I knew exactly what I needed to do. I wanted to raise as- Oh my god! <laughs> Why do you have to say that? <laughs> Iron Mouse didn't just defy the odds, she shattered them. Her story is an inspiration, proving that dreams can take flight, no matter the obstacles. She has the true underdog story. And I believe this is the essence of Iron Mouse's message. To be a beacon for anyone who dares to dream despite the barriers. Who is that girl I see? Staring straight back at me. Why is my reflection someone I don't know? Somehow I cannot hide who I am, though I try.
died Then will my reflection show Who I am inside Oh, oh no <laughs> Oh no, you guys didn't see that I'm, I'm not there Oh <laughs> But yeah, Iron Mouse is definitely inspiring, for real. It's like, she literally just could have like sat there and faded away as her chronic illness destroyed her. But she said, you know what? No, I'm going to do something. And look where it got her, you know? Like, out of all the people that Rima has covered, I don't know, it probably sounds like me, like, playing favorites or whatever, but you really have to admit that Rima's has come really far, you know, especially with, like, her illness, which basically limited anything she could do. And, of course, that's not to discredit other people. Who have gotten to where they are, but it's just to me, Iron Mouse is more inspiring than anything. So, whatever I when I feel a little bit down, I just think that like. You gotta keep it going, you know? Because if you give up, it really will just be the end. And is that what you really want? Yeah, even though it's hard. But... Uh, as they say, you know... The night is darkest before the dawn. So... I just have to keep waiting until, you know, that dawn comes. Even if it takes a long time. I'm sorry, I'm just like thinking. Uh, but yeah. I, I really do want to, you know, do something. Leave my marks. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, do something to like leave my mark. I mean, everybody does. But, all right, I really want to, like, do something. I don't know what, but I want to do something. Uh, preferably something nobody has ever done. Um, in terms of, like, in the VTubing uh, community, but, uh, there probably has, there probably isn't really anything that I can do that somebody else hasn't done, you know? But, I'll figure it out somehow. Yeah, I, I do truly wish to do something with my time here. Rather than just be another VTuber in the wave of VTubers.
Is that like asking for too much? Is that being like too ambitious? But yeah, well, do you guys have any thoughts though about the video or anything? Oh my god, it's already 7? What the hell? Did it get to be 7? <laughs> what was that thing from? No, you guys got nothing to say? Yeah, it's just sitting there looking blankly at the screen. <laughs> It's impressive to have someone to look up to. No thoughts ever go through my head. <laughs> yeah. Like, obviously, you know, I I'm a very realistic person. Like, I know I'm not going to achieve any kind of fame. <laughs> Even though that would be pretty cool. But I know I won't. <laughs> Oh. But I think I forgot who I told, but I told them, like, I know I'm not expecting a lot from doing this. Like, the fact that I'm even here where I am right now, I feel like that's like just pure luck, actually. Not like the luck that they were talking about. Where like it's where opportunity meets preparation or vice versa. I feel like that was actually just nothing but luck. Cause I don't think I really like prepared or anything to get where I am now. Kind of just did my own thing really. I hope for the best. <laughs> it's like like I've said like many times. Like, I, I knew I was going to have, like, so many roadblocks. Mainly because of my voice. Because I'm, I'm not a very loud person. Like, I know, like, with most people, they have to, like, adjust, like, their mic on, like, OBS or whatever. Like, the, um, like, make it louder or quieter. I've never had to do that because that's just how quiet I am. Even now, you guys are probably, like, struggling to hear me and have to turn up, like, your volume or whatever. But I already knew that was going to be an issue. It was like, nobody's going to stay if they can't hear me, you know? And then, obviously, the other issue is that I look like this. <laughs> this is not a female model. For a person with a feminine voice, you know, and basically identifies as a lady. So obviously, you know, that was going to be the other issue. 
So the fact that I'm here now with the small community And now I'm here with this small community of people that are literally like just supporting me. Especially now when I literally had no way of paying off a bill. It really means a lot, you know. Like it really shows that I did something. That people really think I'm worth guess investing in. <laughs> I don't know the proper word to say for that other than investing, you know that I'm worth your time. Like Iron Mouse was saying in her in her video. People are basically giving up their precious and valuable time to be there with her. So, it really does mean a lot to me when people use their valuable time use their valuable time to be here with me. Oh, thank you. It really does mean a lot to me. Give me a moment.
after you just went through this whole speech about it getting dark before it gets brighter and uplifting yourself. Now you're talking about not achieving anything. I mean, I would say I haven't achieved much. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say that. Achieved quite a bit in a short time. Like what? <laughs> Look, I was a crank. Shut up. But don't cry. You're good people. And good people are drawn to you. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I never see myself as a good person. I have never seen myself as a good person. I'm not saying, you know, I go out there making people miserable, but I just know that. Oh, I just know that I am capable of hurting people easily. Which is why I always tell people I'm not a good person. So that they, you know, I guess be careful. <laughs> And look around, look what you made, look at what the people you made. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, what I made? I haven't made Jack Squat. I make quite a bit. I, well, you're going to have to explain to me what you're seeing because I don't see it. Everybody hurts someone else at some point. It's just how everyone is. I mean, yeah. But, but like I said, I, I can probably do it easily because I, I, I really just, oh, oh God, hold on. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Ugh. Because uh, I'm very straightforward and blunt and don't sugarcoat my words, essentially. So I'm more likely to hurt somebody that way, you know. You're giving basic excuses. <laughs> no. No, no, no. You you really don't understand tones. <laughs> when I say I can, I do mean it.
Yeah, same. And then it's usually like, especially with how I could deliver it, <laughs> it comes off in a way that seems very mean and rude. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand tones. <laughs> Just trust me when I say I'm not a good person. <laughs> I know myself best. <laughs> no. The Leo came to visit. Who said I'm trying to be edgy and emo? Leo. This damn cat. I'm a monster. I don't want to hurt you. I'll hurt myself before I hurt you. <laughs> I literally said nothing like that. All I said was that I'm not a good person. Anyways, back on topic, um, yeah, I, I do want to achieve something, I don't, I don't know what, but I do. <laughs> I'm not a good person, I'm a monster. <laughs> I never said I'm a monster. What? <laughs> Can you believe this? He's putting words in my mouth. As usual. No, it's not the same thing. Oh my god. But, yeah, I do. I do hope to, you know, eventually meet that forever friend. I really do. <laughs> no, you're oh my god no no you know what just for that tell them i time you out <laughs> please don't <laughs> no i'm kidding but please don't stop <sighs> i said i was kidding <laughs> But, anyways, you know what? I think I do want to have like multiple models. Cause like I do want to see like at least a lot of the outfit sketches that I made come to life. Like I may have like switched the order of what's going to be the next one, but I think I do still want like the one I originally planned for to become one as well. 
I maybe somehow can polish it up. And then like, I like do more. Multi-model, you say? Yeah. Like I want to have like a, a wide variety of live 2D and chippy. And again, like I said, I won't be going into 3D. Um, mostly because I don't have the space for it. And then even if I did have the space, I'm not really interested. Even though, like, there could be a whole lot more things I could do with 3D. Like, um... I know, like, um, in the video, where, like, Iron Mouse finally got to, like, hug one of her friends. Because she's, like, forever stuck in her... Well, not forever, but... Um... Stuck in her room. Home. Okay, look, <laughs> don't. If you're trying to get me to commission that person you told me about, it's still no. <laughs> it's like, there are a lot of things that I do want for this next model. And I, I, I don't know if the people you're thinking of can do what I want. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've actually been giving this a little bit of thought. I know, I constantly say, no, I don't want to sing, I don't want to do that. I've just been thinking, like, what if I did, like, do an original song, or at least a cover of a song? What do you guys think about that? One of them was the artist that did Anish Chibi, though. Okay, but did they only do the design? Do you know who did the rigging? Oh, dang it. What was I looking for? <laughs> oh, right. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, I was talking about song or song cover. Solo design and rig. All right, slap me with it. Because I have been wanting a chibi model too. But I wanted to like get a chibi model for like the next model though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I've been thinking, like, how would I even go about doing, like, an original song, though? Mm-hmm. 
But I also feel like if I'm going to do like an original song, uh, I'm going to need to know about music. And obviously, you know, there are going to be costs that come with it. Yeah, how much do you guys think it would cost to like make an original song? Like a very good question. Oh yeah, because you probably need like people that actually like make it. I could probably come up like the lyrics myself. But then everything after that, it's like, oh, <laughs> blank. So I'll probably just stick with like a cola. But, but don't quote me on this because I know I'm going to forget and then decide later on I don't want to. So that's how fickle I am when it comes to singing You know what? But I I do want to like do a lot of things like I mentioned before. Like I mentioned some of the stuff I want to do. Uh, but money is always the issue. I really need to get a job. But anyways, that's been five and a half hours. Um, I should probably end. <laughs> I mean, not that I have anything to do, but I feel I've held you guys hostage enough <laughs> for long enough. I do not blame you for wanting to get away from me. <sighs> Unless somebody has an objection. No, no objections.
Alright, since no objections, I will end it now. Thank you everybody for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Um Hope you enjoyed the collab. Don, as usual, is always a pleasure to have around. Um, we have three more collabs this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday is Princess Beach Day. Again, thank you everybody for coming. Thank you to the active chatters, the lurkers, those who stopped in to say hi, and of course the VOD watchers. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I mean that as sincerely as I can say it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. For it takes two. I, I just have to hope he remembers. <laughs> oh man. This is an adorable little thing. Alright, let's see. Who are we going to raid? And you guys know the usual. If you want to do a raid message, it's leaf pile. Otherwise, enjoy. Okay, but like I really do want to still play games though. <laughs> Somebody play with me.